What's up, everybody? The video I'm about to play for you is probably the most important video on what's happening that you'll ever see. And I'm not just saying that, but this video was two days ago recorded. It pretty much lines up with everything I've been saying. Everything that I've been talking about in the possible direction where we are headed. Listen very close to this interview. Listen very, very close at what he says. And this is the belief, this is the understanding that is here right now. So pay attention to this video and please share. Peace and love, everybody. May peace be with you and let the light shine on you to be able to see the absolute truth. Yeah, this is not Ishmael. This is Amalek. Amalek hated God and they hated You know what? The I don't have people. a DNA kit on me. It could be Ishmael. Yeah, Yadobo Bakol Viad Kolbo, right? What does yeah. the Torah say? His hand is in everything mm -hmm. and he's against everybody. I, I'm not going to say it doesn't really interest me right now. <laughs> Ishmael, they are Malik, but they are who they are. We have up north Hezbollah to worry about and we also don't know what the, what the actual role to play will be of the West Bank Arabs, of the, of the, of the Israeli Arabs, yeah. and of the Judean and Samaria Arabs, how much are they going to join in all of this? So what will Israel's response be? Well, this, the Secretary of the Cabinet says this will be the last war against Gaza. This is going to be it right now. That remains to be seen. I think that people don't really understand the mentality that we're dealing with. I think they don't really understand who if you can call them people who they really are, whether you like Jews, you don't like Jews, you, you think Zionists are evil, <laughs> banding around these, these tired expressions, you have to understand what, what's going on here in Israel is going to, uh, it always, I've always said this, but now it's clearer than ever that it will determine the fate of all humanity. And you know what else, Jim? I, I just want to say this to our Christian friends, mm -hmm. you know, uh, just to, just to call it as it is and say it straight out, you know, you, you guys are worshiping one Jew. That's a mistake. You should be worshiping every single one of us because we all die for your sins every single day. And that's exactly what's going on here. Yeah. We're, we're all God's firstborn. And we're dying for your sins right now because, because the Jewish people in the land of Israel are the bulwark right. against the orcs. Mm -hmm. Okay? The orcs are coming not to a theater ne near you, but to your home. I, I don't know if, if this is uh, appropriate to, to bring up in this podcast, but, you know, please, I know you'll stop me if, if, if it's a little too much, but my first thought Shabbat morning when the, when I, the sirens went off and I heard, in fact, I looked out and I saw the trails of the rockets over in the western sky from where I was, I'm staying, and I thought, wait a minute. It, uh, this is the this is the end of uh, the hog. It's still it's still kind of officially Sukkot. Sh not Sukkot, but Shemini Etzer. Shemini Etzer, which is a, like say another day. Right, of, exactly. The point is is that I thought of the the sages talking about that the war of Gog and Magog in Ezekiel thirty eight could happen during or near Sukkot. Exactly. And I thought the players are there that are mentioned. And the day before, Hoshana Rabbah is like the last day of judgment of the nations. Right. It's extremely appropriate because yeah. this this is this smacks yeah. of the Gogumagogian Be scenario. Because, and I'm just going to say this, because, and, and suddenly I did the mental math and I thought, okay, my first thought was Israel will defend itself and that they will have to, they will have to take care of this problem that is sitting on their, their border. And if they really take care of it the way it should be, then the nations would have their excuse to gather against Israel, which all figures into this Gog and Magog. And, and here's a little tidbit, um, because it's, it, you know, what is, what is the most important, what is the most important component of the sukkah? The schach. The schach. The roofing. The roof. And what does Gog mean? Roof. Roof. Crazy stuff, folks. Right. 
you know, I don't know. And listen, Hamas is blaming this whole thing on Jewish visits to the Temple Mount over Sukkot. Oh, they were offended, I guess. But they've been doing that what? for a hundred years. Yeah. The, the Arabs have been, compl have been complaining and claiming that there's a secret Jewish agenda to change the reality on the Temple Mount. It's not a secret. <laughs> it's the Torah, right? Yeah. I wish it was really going on. I wish yeah. it was really, it was real in the eyes of the government of Israel, which it isn't. Yeah. But the fact is, it's, this is the excuse. One excuse. Yeah. We are being threatened with an existential threat. And we have to respond no matter what the world thinks. I, I want people to really understand that we're seeing a level of atrocity that we haven't seen since the Holocaust. Yeah. Really. This is, this is wholesale destruction of, of Jews, men, women, babies, because they're Jews. And it's going on in Israel, right? right? So if we don't stand up and act very decisively now, that would be the end of the Jewish people all over the world. If we, if we can't be here, then we can't be in Los Angeles. We can't be in Houston. We can't be anywhere, right? So we have to take care of this, right? But again, when you see the hatred of those that identify with this, that could be standing in New York City and chanting 700, 700 Jews are dead, like, what, what's, what is this? They're not human. A person who could do that is not yeah. human. Okay, so so I'm going to be the racist if I say, well, I told you about the Arabs, right? I'm going to be, oh, you said that. You said it. Well, you know what? Yeah, I'm saying it. I'm saying it. So so you know what? They're going to come for you. They're oh, going to come for you. Yeah. They already are, and it's happening all over the world. And that's why I say we are being killed for your sins every day, for your sins of complacency, for your sins of, pl of placating for your sins of, of moral equivalency, for your sins of, of woke, right? Yeah. And then there's the level of God. There's a God in the world. That's all there is. And od milvado means that there isn't anything but Hashem, right? So are we weakening in our faith? That's not what's happening here. And, and again, as, in, as part of everything that I see, I'm not a spokesman for Hashem, but from what I understand from this plan is that we needed this kind of glue so badly now, right? right? We needed this glue because we have had terrible, terrible uh, polarization and division. And, and this is bringing the Jewish people together in, in an unprecedented way. And it's so beautiful and it's so heartwarming to see that kind of unity, and if that's what we needed, that's what we needed. This, this is no secret in the Midrash and the sages who talk about that if, if, if we need it, this is what Hashem is going to do. If he has to hold a mountain overhead, if he has to raise up an evil king like Haman, that's what the Midrash says, in order to wake us up, so be it. But let it be a real wake-up call, and not on a snooze button. Yeah. Let, it, let it be a firm, real wake-up call, because there's only Hashem. And I'm, again, I just work here, Jim, that's what I always say, I don't know why, it hurts. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a time of transition, and you know what? Out with the old and in with the new. And so what was the expression that we just used a few weeks ago, Rosh Hashanah? Right, the, the old year with its curses end ends, and let let the new year with its blessings begin. Well, this is a rocky beginning on the surface. It looks yeah. like, but but the point is, it's all Hashem, and and when it is when we are facing a transition, when we are facing. A, a, a time that that is clearly, you know, a, 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 t a heavenly, tumultuous kind of upheaval that's totally biblical in scale. Well, that's 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 an awkward time. That's an uncomfortable time. It's a, it's an excruciating time to be alive. But this is our time. This is our time. And again, we are part of something so much bigger than the pain and the suffering of every individual that we can so personally identify with. If this is not glossing over the horrendous, horrendous, unprecedented loss of life. But this is looking at something from a perspective that is inaccessible to us, but that we believe in. Right. You we believe to, in that, in that. Yeah, you have to, you, I mean, it, and everybody's being tested because you, you, you have to see this unfold, especially like, you know, I've, weirdly as it sounds, I feel blessed to be part of this right now. I mean, it's, um, you know, I, I prayed long ago that I would I would see things, and as strangely as that comes off, but the point being is, is that is that it's people are being you know even even the, the, the Jewish families are being tested 
Like, do I believe in a God that allows right. this? And by the way, personally, I'm not seeing anybody that has that attitude. Like, right. the, the, the gratefulness in Hashem seems to have increased. Right. And it's it's a remarkable thing to see firsthand. And I know and I've you know, I've always told my Jewish friends in the States when I have been able uh, allowed to speak in shuls, I always talk to them about what a powerful thing that Jewish unity will be mm -hmm. when we really see it. And it's I know I know Hashem is waiting for it. I mean. So I think that's part of what's going on right now, Jim. It's definitely the biggest test of my life to have my family involved with everything else that we've been going through with with my daughter who needs a complete healing and all the things that are going on. It's a tremendous time of upheaval and testing, and it's our time, and so I, I cherish it. And you, as a righteous among the nation, um, I bless you and appreciate your participation in this. And I was talking to a friend, a friend, a couple of friends of mine who converted, you know, mm -hmm. and I said, uh, and they're here, and I said, uh, so you wanted to join the Jewish people. <laughs> well, good luck with that. How's that going for you? Are you sure about that? Yeah, yeah. Because you can't change your mind. Exactly. There's no. There's no downgrade afterwards. Yeah, you're stuck. Yeah. There's no. Okay. Can I have my <laughs> papers back? You know. Not for naught that it began now in this holy season. And as we begin reading the Torah anew, and we read about creation and Adam, and Adam's responsibility to be the gardener, right? To keep it and to work it. To watch it and to work it. That's what we all are in this world. Mm -hmm. And basically the orcs that are overrunning the land of Israel now, they're, they're the original serpent of Eden. Yeah. And they are the challenge to humanity uh, to preserve the garden yeah. they are the face of evil whoever doesn't understand that whoever is hiding like an ostrich head in the sand thinks it's would be it doesn't have the courage to come out and defend israel now doesn't have the courage to speak up for the truth well you have a problem with the divine image in which hashem created you because what's going on now is uh, an unbelievable test for all humanity to react to because this is a question of, you know, you talk about civil rights, you talk about human rights, you talk about uh, indigenous people, you talk about self-determination. Are you in favor of war crimes? And we haven't even spoken about the, do we speak about the foreign nationals, the Nepalese, the Thais, the Mexican, the German, the Americans yeah. that are either kidnapped or murdered, right? right? You know what? It's up to all people to decide now how to interpret these events and to understand that what we are facing is no longer an isolated incident, but it is basically a major trial of all humanity, of all mankind. Amen. And may we pass this test, and may Hashem bless the people of Israel and all those who stand with her. Amen. And all of our children who are on the front line and all of the soldiers. Amen. Amen. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. But they are who they are. We have up north Hezbollah to worry about, and we also don't know what the what the actual role to play will be of the West Bank Arabs, of the of the of the Israeli Arabs, yeah. and of the Judean Samaria Arabs. How much are they going to join in all of this?
So what will Israel's response be? Well, this, the Secretary of the Cabinet says this will be the last war against Gaza. This is going to be it right now. That remains to be seen. I think that people don't really understand the mentality that we're dealing with. I think they don't really understand who, if you can call them people, who they really are. Whether you like Jews, you don't like Jews, you, you think Zionists are evil, <laughs> banding around these, these tired expressions, you have to understand what, what's going on here in Israel is going to... Uh, it always, I've always said this, but now it's clearer than ever that it will determine the fate of all humanity. And you know what else, Jim? I just want to say this to our Christian friends, mm -hmm. you know, uh, just, to, just to call it as it is and say it straight out, you know, you, you guys are worshiping one Jew. That's a mistake. You should be worshiping every single one of us because we all die for your sins every single day. And that's exactly what's going on here. Yeah. We're, we're all God's first point. We're dying for your sins right now because, because the Jewish people in the land of Israel are the bulwark right. against the orcs. Mm -hmm. Okay, the orcs are coming, not to a theater ne near you, but to your home. I just ask, now, does it all make sense? Doesn't it wrap everything together in one big, beautiful gift? Everything on a silver platter for them to go ahead and push forward. Peace and love, everybody. Pay attention.